Hello, I'm Dr. Maurice LaRouche and I'll be presenting the medium-term pest reuse, adverse events, discontinuation and associated factors on behalf of our team. I have no commercial affiliations to disclose and the main author of this project, Arshia Kakar, received conference fund funding sponsored by the St. Mary's Hospital Foundation and the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology and she also received the McGill Faculty of Medicine Research Bursary from Harold and Ria Pugash to complete this project. Vaginal pessaries are commonly used to manage pelvic organ prolapse and stress urinary incontinence, but patients often report undesired adv adverse events like vaginal discharge, odor, and pessary erosions. Fortunately, serious complications are rare, but the long-term use and management of pessaries has not been well described in the literature. We were interested in knowing more about the factors associated with adverse events as well as their management. Our primary objective was to determine discontinuation and adverse event rates associated with medium-term pest reuse for pelvic organ prolapse and or stress urinary incontinence. Our secondary objectives were to identify factors associated with these adverse events and to describe their management and prognosis. We undertook a retrospective case series and included all women attending a nurse-run pest clinic between 2015 and 2019. And we collected data from the patient's first until the last visit, so from 2012 until 2020. We excluded women that had no baseline data or less than one year follow-up. Pest refitting and refitting was performed by urogynecologists and trained nurses led pest clinic visits, including pest removal, cleaning, and reinsertion, as well as speculum exam when needed. Visits uh, were performed every three to four months. The chi-square test was used to determine associations between various risk factors and discontinuation or pessary erosion rates. P less than 0.05 was considered significant, and the sample size was based on a convenient sample of all the patients that attended the clinic since inception, but a post-hoc analysis revealed that our sample of 238 women gave us 80% power to detect a minimum difference between the two groups ranging from 17 to 20% for factors associated with discontinuation and pessary erosion rates. Here are our um, main results. So we uh, included 238 women and followed them for a mean of 4.2 years. The mean age was 73.9. Many women had associated urinary symptoms or constipation, as well as uh, many uh, other comorbidities. The types of pessaries most commonly fitted with were ring with support and gelhorn. Forty-five percent of women uh, needed a refitting at some point during their follow-up. The Overall adverse event rate was 78.2%. There were no severe complications, but the most common adverse events were vaginal discharge, bleeding, and erosions. Pessary erosions occurred in 63.9% of cases, and they were most commonly treated with a break from using the pessary uh, and occasionally vaginal estrogen. 4.6% of women had persistent or recurrent erosions at their last visit. 83% of women continued using the pessary until the end of the follow-up. Discontinuation was associated with um, alternative management of uh, 18 women who opted for expected management and 20 who opted for surgery. The mean time of discontinuation was three years after the initial fitting. Pessary erosions were associated with using a gelhorn pessary and with age over 65. Discontinuation was not found to be associated with pessary erosions, but recurrent erosions as well as using an incontinence pessary were associated with a higher risk of discontinuation. Cardiovascular comorbidities such as diabetes, previous hysterectomy, and baseline stress urinary incontinence were not found to be associated with erosion or discontinuation. Few studies reported on a long-term use of pessaries. Um, our follow-up was of four years. We did report a high adverse event rate of 78%, um, which is higher than a lot of studies, but the definition of adverse events does vary between study. And our rate is similar to Sarmai and Al in 2009 that found a 56% uh, rate of um, adverse events at six years 
using the ring pass rate. They also had a high discontinuation rate of 86%, whereas we had a higher rate of continuation. Our study did include multiple types of pessaries, and many patients felt comfortable in continuing to use pessaries with the follow-up and support from our nurse-led pessary clinic, despite the troubleshooting involved. The limitations of this study inc include the fact that some of the adverse events may not be directly attributed to the pessaries, such as vaginal discharge or urinary tract infections, we did have a notable amount of missing data uh, coming from its uh, retrospective design. In conclusion, we presented on a large sample of women who were using various types of pessaries for pelvic floor disorders and followed them up for four years. Adverse effects uh, were common, up to 78% of women, but the continuation rate was high over 80% among older women attending a nurse-led pessary clinic. Although uh, pessary erosions tended to recur in close to two-thirds of women, this was found to be associated with discontinuation. Further attention should be paid to factors that lead to pessary er erosion recurrence and their avoidance and management to improve pessary continuation. Thank you.